But do you know the meaning of the word abracadabra? What you speak is what you feel. Have you heard this word, abracadabra? So you go for a magic show, the magician says, abracadabra, right? But do you know the meaning of the word abracadabra? <laughs> it's very interesting. It's actually abracadabra. And this, the roots of this word is Aramaic. So Ar Aramaic was the language spoken in Jerusalem, Israel, all of that. Before Hebrew, it's a very old language, Aramaic. And the meaning of this word is, what I speak is what I create. And I thought that's extremely interesting. What I speak is what I create. So if I tell myself, my gosh, I will do this session, it's going to be scary. I don't know if I can. It's 500 people. Oh my gosh, there's so many people. I might forget what I have to say. I might be really nervous. What's going to happen? All of that, right? What I speak is what I create. I think this is really, really, really valuable for you all. Because what you speak is not only what comes out of your mouth. What you speak is also the inner voice. What you're telling yourself the whole day. So this inner voice never leaves you, right? Right through the day, this fellow is talking to you. You can't do this, you can't do this, don't try, man. You'll give up, you, you can't, you'll fail. Okay. How many of you have, have heard this inner voice of yours? You know what this inner voice is? You have heard this inner voice? Is this inner voice generally positive or negative? Negative! This inner voice is don't do this. You will fail. What you speak is what you create. What you speak is what you create. What you speak is what you create. So be careful of what you speak. To yourself first. It's always to yourself first. 